If you're having difficulty emptying your bladder, that might be why you found this video. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry because emptying your bladder should be easy. My name's Kristen Norwick and I am a physiotherapist with extra training in pelvic health. Pelvic health encompasses your whole pelvic region, which includes your bladder function. So let's dive into it. You're having a hard time fully emptying your bladder. If you're not sure if that's the case, sometimes it'll feel like you have to push your bladder, so really push to squeeze out whatever's left in your bladder. Sometimes you'll sit and it'll take a long time for your stream to start. Sometimes you'll go and then stand up and leak a little bit or feel like you have to sit right back down to empty again. And if you stand to pee, sometimes it'll feel like you can't empty standing, you need to sit down and you maybe need to try a few different times in order to empty your bladder. Those are all different reasons that you might feel like you can't empty your bladder. Next, I'm going to explain to you how that process should work normally. So I have my pelvic model here. Your pelvis is the bone at the bottom of your trunk. So you've got your pubic bone at the front, your lower back, sacrum, and tailbone at the back. And if you look from below, you have your two sit bones that you sit on. So if you rock side to side, you should feel your bony sit bone. In that area are the pelvic floor muscles and your genitals. These muscles are depicted in red here in this model. Your bladder sits just in here. So this is a little model of the bladder. And this bladder will expand as it fills with urine and then constrict when you empty. So this can expand and constrict quite a bit. It's very, very cool. The bladder is regulated by the pelvic floor. Let's talk about how that happens. Here's my model of the bladder I have here and I can open it up and show you the inside. So the walls of the bladder are muscular and the urine gets held inside the bladder here. It looks the same on the underside of this top. This bladder muscle is really important for making sure that you can fill your bladder with urine so it needs to be able to stretch so you can fill but then it also needs to be able to contract nice and strongly when you want to empty your bladder. And then if we look at the pelvic floor muscles here, your urethra, which is the tube that carries your urine from your bladder out of your body, that passes through your pelvic floor muscles. So these pelvic floor muscles, particularly at the front, need to be able to relax. And when they relax and open, what that does is the muscles that were keeping the urethra shut open up. So that opens up that one-way valve to allow urine to pass through and exit your body. But that relaxation also sends a signal to your bladder muscle that the bladder muscle can now squeeze. So pelvic floor muscles relax, that relaxation sends a signal to these muscles that will then squeeze to squirt your urine through your urethra out of your body. It's a really cool process actually. So what's really neat about this is you can actually learn how to contract and relax your pelvic floor muscles properly in order for your bladder to get that nice strong signal to either stay relaxed if you don't want to empty right then and then contract and really squeeze out the urine when you are ready to empty. Let's talk about how you can fully empty your bladder. Now that you know how this process works, you know that in order to empty your bladder fully, your pelvic floor muscles need to be able to relax completely. That relaxation allows your urethra to open up and that relaxation sends a signal to the bladder so it will squeeze its walls and empty urine. And so the best way for you to start to actually learn how to empty your bladder better is to learn how to relax your pelvic floor muscles better. Relaxing your pelvic floor muscles is definitely a skill most of us don't learn unless you watch a video by a pelvic physiotherapist like this or you see a pelvic physiotherapist. We often hear that the pelvic floor muscles need to be exercised by doing Kegels, but Kegels are just the contraction part of the pelvic floor muscles and you actually need to also relax those muscles. That's equally as important, if not more important, especially for you if you're having difficulty emptying your bladder 
that tells us that most likely you're having difficulty relaxing your pelvic floor muscles. I want to teach you right now how you can relax your pelvic floor muscles. So I just want to note that this is educational and the absolute best way for you to know if you should try this is to talk with your doctor and your pelvic physiotherapist. So if you're sitting right now, the best position to be in for this is sitting. If you rock side to side like this, you should be able to feel your two bony sit bones that you sit on. In between those sit bones are your pelvic floor muscles. When you relax your pelvic floor muscles, they actually move downwards, away from your head towards the surface you're sitting on. And so you may want to just try out that movement. I'm trying it right now. And then a really amazing way to tap into that movement even better is by taking a big inhale. So as you breathe in, your pelvic floor muscles move down. So they relax and move down as you breathe in. So you can try that out. Do a few inhales, ideally through your nose. And see if you can move your pelvic floor muscles down as you inhale. If that's still tricky for you, I have several yoga for the pelvic floor classes you can try where I get you to practice that breath and that pelvic floor movement throughout the yoga practice. And the movements that you do, like the actual yoga poses, are the least important part, honestly. The most important part is that you're practicing this movement as you breathe. So I'll leave those up here for you to take a look. Once you've mastered that skill of being able to relax your pelvic floor, then you need to translate that skill to actually when you're trying to empty your bladder. So if normally you stand to urinate, then it's probably actually a good idea for you to try sitting for a while, at least until you master this, because you can relax your pelvic floor usually better sitting. So you're gonna sit on the toilet, get comfortable, get relaxed, and see if you can move your pelvic floor muscles down away from your head. You can imagine that you're opening your urethra, moving those muscles down. And as you inhale and you're sitting there, maybe you can move them down a little bit more, a little bit more. And sometimes you need to wait for a bit of time. It will take time usually for you to practice this before the process gets a little bit better. So before you're able to really relax those muscles and then give the bladder that strong signal to squeeze. And then if your bladder has become a little bit weaker over time because it hasn't been getting that strong signal, it'll take reps of your bladder squeezing for the lining of the bladder, so this muscle to actually get stronger so it can squeeze more strongly. So I've worked with people where this starts to improve after a few weeks and others where it starts to improve after several months. Everyone is a little bit different and it will depend on how long this has been going on for you. Like I mentioned, really the best way for you to learn how to do this safely is to work with a pelvic physiotherapist. We are experts in understanding how your muscles work in this area and how you can empty your bladder fully. The other thing that's really important to note here is your pelvic floor muscles absolutely play a large role. However, there are other reasons why it might be difficult for you to empty your bladder. That's why I always recommend that you go see your doctor and tell them what's going on and get some information from them. They may decide they want to refer you on. And then depending on where you live, it's also a great idea to go see a pelvic physiotherapist who can assess your muscles and actually tell you if your muscles are involved. There's a chance that, say, if I did an assessment with you, I might say, actually, you're using your muscles just fine. And that gives us lots of information to think, okay, the muscles might not be the factor. Let's see what else might be impacting your ability to empty your bladder. So definitely talk to your doctor and then see a pelvic physiotherapist if you can. You can book with one of us. We see everyone online and you can visit the link that I'll leave in the description of the video to book with us. Good luck emptying your bladder. You can do it. Sometimes it feels frustrating and it feels like a long road sometimes, but I know that you can start to empty your bladder more fully. All right, have a great rest of your day.